Hey everybody, if you're an unfortunate soul like me and you want to get a little bit more out of your Fire Tablet with a custom launcher, then this video is for you. Now, remember that Linux is probably preferred here, but the steps are almost the same on Windows, so it shouldn't matter. Now, um, first step here, we're going to actually want to make sure we have ADB installed in the first place. So go to any terminal, like default terminal, whatever. Um, you're going to want to do a uh, sudo apt install adb or pacman. I don't know the command for that though, but I already have it, so it's not going to do anything, but it should um, take care of that for you. Install everything you need. Um, now, a on the actual tablet here, we're going to want to enable a few things. If you haven't done anything yet, we're going to want to go to settings, um, device options, into we're going to um enable developer options so that should be that should be about oh it's a little secret here so just keep tapping that until you're it says you're a developer there we go and turn that on um we're going to enable USB debugging we're going to also enable um the USB the file transfer USB config so we can actually get the uh, we can sideload the APK for to install the launcher and then um, use ADB with the tablet. So let's do that. That can stay right there. Actually, yeah, there we go. And now we're gonna wanna connect the tablet with the uh, whatever USB cable you got. There we go. You should get a bunch of pings. Hopefully you do. Yeah, you should get this message, allow it. Um, that makes all of this possible. Now we want to confirm that it's being recognized, so let's do an ADB devices to list the device, and it is detected it, as it is being showed right here. All these commands will be in the description, all the steps too, except for the um, installing the launcher part. So now we have the APK right here, the installation files. There's going to be a link in the description for that, but you can also just like use Google. It's pretty popular for um, just side loading this. Um, there we go, and now that's copied over. Um, don't don't have to do anything yet on the computer. That's all the tablet. Now we're going to want to install that standard um, procedure for this um, and open get get that um, whatever just do whatever it wants but yeah it won't show unless you do the next steps we're gonna um, now we're gonna actually disable the stock launcher which you normally can't do in Android but since we got ADB on our side we can force it with a little bit of hackery and um, let's drop down to no. Let's we ought to drop down to the ADB shell for the tablet because it is connected. Now that it should give you this prompt right here. You, you're all good if it gives you that. Now make sure your tablet is turned on because there's going to be a dialog that you're going to need to look at look out for in a minute. Now. To actually disable the stock launcher, you're going to want to type put this command in the terminal. Well, into the ADB shell. The um, um, syntax, you could probably look that up. But it should just, um, yeah, it should blank out your screen. But don't worry, that that's part of the process. Now you need to um, choose the actual launcher. Do not skimp out on this. Don't just like, don't tap out. You want to press select your launcher and it should be good to go as you can see Nova launcher is installed even if I press home it doesn't let go of it it doesn't go back to the the old bloated uh, launcher from Amazon and um, just regular Nova launcher obviously so it m I don't know I've never had it I never had it um not work before but if it does, then this command might work. Maybe. This um, sets it directly. You're going to want success if that 
if that has worked. But only if um, only if doing this alone doesn't work. Uh, and I've I've never had that happen before. So just in case. And um, that's it. Enjoy your new launcher.